in the name of God Almighty, I welcome you again to this moment of prayer. It is a prayer that as you have joined us again this morning, the hands of the Lord will be upon you. Shall we pray? Eternal Father, we thank you for the beautiful day which you have given unto us, your children, to rejoice and be glad in. Thank you for the night that has just gone by. We pray, Heavenly Father, as you have given us this day, you will grant us your fullness of joy. That in our life today, your name will be glorified. Thank you, ancient of day. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I am glad to welcome you again to this morning. I'm taking my exhortation from Jeremiah 33, verse 2 to 3. Don't say the Lord who made it, the Lord who formed me to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and show great and mighty things which you do not know. One thing, people of God, that we need to know about our God is that our God is almighty. He has power over everything on earth and in heaven. All power in heaven and on earth belongs to him. He is the one that formed and established the earth. He created us and he knows the best for us. This we know about God. People of God should give us confidence that whatever we might be passing through, God can make all things beautiful at its own time. The passage that I just read to us tells us about the experience of prophet Jeremiah, a prophet of God who was put in prison. Despite the fact of this confinement, God visited him and renew his covenant with his people that he will restore them back to their normal state. People of God, God said that he should call upon him. We should call upon him because he's the one that has made us and it's one that has formed us. And not only that, he said we show us great and mighty things that we have not known before. People of God, there is no better time for us to call on God than this time. We are faced with many challenges, which is only God that can save us. As many that are called on his name, the Bible says, they shall be saved. Let us at this time continue to call on God over our church, our nation, and the world. That the plan of the evil will not overtake the plan of God for us. And I pray that as you go out this day, the Lord will establish that which he has promised concerning you. And his faithfulness will be your joy in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we thank you because your covenant with us is that you will restore us back to that which we have been before. We pray, Lord, that at this time, O Lord, that we are facing challenges, most especially this COVID-19. Father, we pray you will grant us your healing. Restore us back, O Lord. Restore your church back. Restore our nation back, O Lord. And restore your world. So that everything that concerns us, O Lord, will bring praises, honor, and glory to your name. Thank you, Father, because we hope in you and we trust in you that you will do even more than even we know and even more than what we ask for. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 